for empowering women in villages with jobs, visibility, and dignity. In every right, a living legend, Ila Bhatt. सेवा में आके बहुत हमारा फर्क आया हमें पक्का मकान होया टेलीविजन आया लाइट आई Who are the women of India? 80% of women in India are rural, poor, illiterate and uh, and economically very active. So it is these women who should be playing a leading role in the women's movement of India. I feel so humbled and proud uh, today, and uh, I'm uh, I'm fortunate also to be asked to say uh, you know, three messages for the for the next generation, right? So first and foremost, we need to recognize that poverty is violence. It is violence perpetuated with the consent of society. A society that is silent or looks the other way in the face of poverty, it is giving consent to exploitation, injustice, and war. Poverty strips away a person's dignity, humanity. It corrodes the human spirit. There is no justification for poverty in India. Number two, diversity. Diversity is the key to life. Our world is richer when cultures and subcultures flourish, when faiths and subfaiths intermingle. We need a multiplicity of economies and sub-economies that coexist in harmony. Monoculture or standardization of practices are, uh, are nothing but ways to managing nature, managing people. They are not life-giving forces. India's rich diversity needs the spirit of Bahuda to sustain it. And lastly, uh, let us recognize that we all live in correlation. The word is Anubandh. We are all bound to each other in the web of life. Every action of mine has an impact on me, on the community around me, and the world, uh, you know, Mother Earth. Uh, by being mindful of our interdependence, we bind ourselves to each other and to the world. My vision is of a world without poverty, full of diversity, and interlinked in mutual harmony. The vision, this vision, is a gift to me by poor and working women, my Seva sisters, and, and over, over fast 40 years. Now, I try to give it to you. Thank you. <laughs>